Disclaimer, this video is not an attack on DreamWorks Animation or any of the other talented people who help bring their films to life. All anger and saltiness shown in this video is for comedy purposes only. Also, this video will contain some unpopular opinions that could possibly trigger some specific viewers. Fan discretion is highly advised. Well, hello there folks, it's me, Alfie, I'm back for another video. Um, if you're curious as to why I opened this video with a disclaimer, I opened this video with a disclaimer because I made a post back in October saying how I preferred the film Ruby Gilman over the film Puss in Boots The Last Wish, and I was met with, well, some pretty interesting feedback from people to say the least, mostly just people making fun of my opinion. So, I opened this video with a disclaimer guys, to let you know that if you disagree with anything I say in this video, then that's perfectly fine, I'm not here to laser strike your opinion. But, in all seriousness guys, um, DreamWorks is in a bit of a problem at the minute. I'm pretty sure it's no secret that DreamWorks is in a bit of a state at the minute when it comes to um, their company. They've fired quite a lot of people when they're like no longer making films in-house, probably um, because probably they want to cut costs or something like that, because they've not really been doing well at the box office at the minute. So this video is basically just going to be me talking about the problem with DreamWorks, as well as my thoughts on the current state of DreamWorks at the minute. I'm going to be talking about three DreamWorks films in this video. I'm going to be talking about Ruby Gilman, Trolls Band Together, and I'm also going to be talking about Megamind 2. With that out of the way guys, please enjoy the video as I talk about the modern state of DreamWorks, starting with Ruby Gilman. Okay, so, the film Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken was released in theatres in July 2023. Upon its release, there was quite a lot of controversy surrounding this film, mainly with people saying how it was a disappointing uh, downgrade from Puss in Boots The Last Wish. You see, Puss in Boots The Last Wish came out the previous year in 2022, and it's because of that reason everyone was, everyone was hyping up Ruby Gilman, expecting Ruby to be some kind of masterpiece like Puss in Boots The Last Wish, but the result was anything but. Before the film released, there was, e there was controversy surrounding the film even before it was released, saying that the villain of the film looked a lot like Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And if you didn't know what the character looked like, then yeah, you can see the comparison between The Little Mermaid here. But the film didn't do well at the box office. After the film was done in cinemas, it made 46.2 million on a 70 million budget, ma making only like 80 or 70, making only like 70 or 60 percent of its budget back. So it did very poorly at the box office. Although now that I think about it, that is still quite a lot of money. Like in the millions, that is a lot of money. But upon release, the film was met with very mediocre reviews from critics and audiences. Audiences. Actually, no, audiences actually seem to quite like it. That is, it has an 81% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, and it has like 65% on on um, critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. So yeah, audiences seem to like it, but critics seem to not like it. And the film ended up being one of the most controversial films to date because people were getting irrationally upset that they decided to make this film and trolls more on that later after Puss in Boots, like I said. But controversy and box office aside, what do I think of the film itself? The film is honestly, the film's honestly quite good. I quite enjoyed it and yeah, be salty as much as you want in the comments because this is my channel and I get to say whatever I feel like. But yeah, I quite enjoyed it. It definitely isn't the best film. Like, it's definitely not as good as other DreamWorks films in recent years, but I enjoyed it and that's the main thing and I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. So yeah, Ruby Gilman ended up being a box office failure as well as a slightly controversial film to say the least. But let's talk about the next controversial DreamWorks film, Trolls Band Together. Trolls Band Together, also known as Trolls 3, was released in November 2023. Upon its release, it was met with pretty negative reception, but um, but it actually it actually got like slightly higher reviews as the weeks and months passed. It has um. As of the time I'm recording this, it has a 62 or 63% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is slightly lower than the reviews of Ruby Gilman. But, to despite the reviews for 
Ruby, to the, but to despite the reviews for Trolls Band Together being lower than Ruby Gilman, uh, audience, uh, not audience, critics wise, sorry about that, it did way better than Ruby Gilman did at the box office, it gained like, I think it gained 100 or 200 million at the box office, I'm not too sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not good with numbers. But it did better than Ruby Gilman did at the box office, and that's most likely due to the fact that they actually marketed the films properly. Now that I think about it, I do think DreamWorks really does need to start marketing their films properly if they want their films to succeed. Because, like, you know, they don't, they, they, I'm pretty sure DreamWorks doesn't want another Ruby Gilman situation. But, is the film good? Well, uh... In my opinion, it's not as good as Ruby Gilman. Like, I actually liked Ruby Gilman. It was a fairly solid film, like I said earlier. Trolls 3 was just meh to me. Like, for example, my biggest issues with Trolls 3 is that they introduced two new characters. Viva, who is apparently Poppy's sister, and the and Branch's brothers. I cannot remember the names of them. Please correct me in the comments. They, My problems with these characters is that they feel so shoehorned into the franchise. Like... There was no mentioning of them at all in the original Trolls film or the second Trolls film. The only the only mention, like the only clue of them was that Branch had a grandmother and that it was clear Branch had a family. And that was like the only clue of like bros as of like um, Branch's brothers, also known as Brozone. I think that's um I think that's uh, I, I can't remember a lot about the film. I haven't watched the film in quite a while. But, yeah, Trolls Band Together ended up being a very mediocre mess, to say the least. If you like the film, then that's fine. I, I, I will respect whatever opinion you have, but again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Trolls Band Together ended up being another slightly controversial DreamWorks fi film with many people. Just, ju just like what happened with Ruby Gilman, a lot of people got irrationally upset that DreamWorks made this film right after Ruby Gilman. And that's... And that's and that would be the theme of DreamWorks fans for quite a few months to come. Now on to our next and last controversial film that I'm going to give my thoughts on, Megamind 2. Oh boy, where do I go with this one? So, Megamind 2 was released in early March of 2024. Upon its release, the film was met with an insane amount of backlash on Rotten Tomatoes and the entire internet as a whole, which was a massive hit to Dr which was a massive hit, or should I say, loss to DreamWorks, considering Megamind is one of their most popular movies to date. Megamind 2 ended up being a massive disappointment, especially considering that we, the audience, waited 14 years for a Megamind sequel. Megamind ended up being Me Megamind 2 ended up being a massive disappointment for obvious reasons. For starters, not only did they fail to get Will Ferrell back, replacing Will Ferrell, Megamind's original voice actor, with someone who doesn't even sound like Megamind at Megamind at all, but um, they the the animation is awful. Like, have you seen the animation? This animation is actually laughable. The animation is awful, and more importantly, the story is just meh. Now, I could go on and on and on, but Megamind 2 is just a massive disappointment, and I'm pretty sure you all know that. Anyways, um, time to get to the conclusion, because I'm pretty sure it's obvious that Megamind 2 was awful. So now we come to the conclusion. You're probably wondering, what is the problem with DreamWorks? The problem with DreamWorks is that people overhype stuff. People, ever since Puss in Boots 2 came out in 2022, everyone just hypes things up expecting them to be some kind of masterpiece when the end results are just anything but. They hyped up Ruby Gilman thinking that it was going to be a masterpiece when it wasn't. Hyped up Trolls 3 expecting it to be good when it wasn't. Hyped up, actually, nah, they didn't hype up Mega Megamind 2. But, yeah, the problem with DreamWorks is that people need to stop hyping things up expecting everything to be a banger. Not every film DreamWorks makes is going to be a banger. What I'm basically trying to say here is, people calm down, DreamWorks hasn't fallen off, they've been inconsistent throughout their entire quality and I think people need to start realising that. So people, please calm down, stop bashing movies, stop like being mean to other people, just stop like going after movies just because they're not like The Last Wish. Not every film has to be like The Last Wish guys. So, in conclusion, yeah, calm down and just stop hyping things up. 
DreamWorks can only get better from here. We have a Dogman movie coming in 2025. We have The Bad Guys 2 being confirmed and Shrek 5 on the horizon. And that is probably, um, that's probably all there is to say in this video, really. So, again, guys, please calm down. Stop overhype, stop overhyping movies, stop bashing movies, because not everything has to be like The Last Wish. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. This film does deserve to be, sh this video, I mean, does deserve to be shared. Um, because I think people need to start realising this a bit more. And I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Goodbye, and have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.